He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We are so excited to bring back the music of Brian and Katie, along with our friends at Morningstar in Jackson, Wisconsin, to bring you this special Jesus Cares Ministries Easter celebration. Jesus said, Because I live, you also will live. Easter is the celebration that assures us that Jesus will keep his promise to take us all to be with him in heaven someday. Happy Easter from all of us at Jesus Cares Ministries, and God bless your Easter worship. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Welcome to our special Easter edition of Worship at the Cross. It's our privilege to be here to share God's word with you and the comfort that we have from the empty tomb. My name is Patrick Feldes, and this is Pastor Joel Gettner, and it's our privilege to bring Christ risen to you. Our service begins. We worship at the cross because on a cross, Jesus got rid of all the bad things we do. We light a candle to remind us that Jesus is always with us, and since I know you would love to do, be doing that here, I will do it for you. To remind us that Jesus is also the light of the world. And we ring a bell. to remind us that it's time to listen to God's word, to sing to God, and pray to him together. Our memory treasure is from Matthew chapter 28, verse 6, and you can join along with me. He is, he is not, not here. here. He, he has has risen. risen. We're going to sing our first song, and I invite you to join us, uh, sing the first song with us, and also play your instrument. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates to open wide. He has washed away my sin. Let this little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. If you have your instrument, we'd ask that you put it down so we can continue. Again, our memory treasure is from Matthew chapter 28, verse 6, and you can say it along with me. He is, he is not, not here. here. He, he has, has risen. risen. We worship God. He is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we say amen together. Amen. amen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, come be with us today. Bless our worship. Give us understanding as we listen to your word. Give us joy as we sing to your glory. Give us peace as we bring our prayers to you. We ask this in Jesus' name, and we say amen together. Amen. amen. We confess our sins and receive forgiveness. Notice in our picture, the person in there is bowed down, recognizing the weight of the sin and guilt that comes with it. And yet, even as guilty as we are and feel sometimes, the cross is right there reminding us that God still forgives us. Dear children of God, our God is holy. He does not sin. Our God is holy. He does not want us to sin. We are sinners. We do what God tells us not to do, and we fail to do what God tells us to do. Let us tell God that we have sinned with these words 
And you, God, I have sinned, and you could say it with me. God, God I, I have, have sinned. sinned. Let us tell God that we are sorry we have sinned with these words. God, I am sorry. And say along with me. God, God I, I am, am sorry. sorry. Jesus died on the cross instead of you. Jesus' death pays for your sins. You can be certain these words are true when you say, Jesus died for me, and say along with me. Jesus, Jesus died, died for, for me. me. Through faith in Jesus, God forgives all your sins. Let us tell the good news in this way. God forgives me, and say along with me. God, God forgives, forgives me. me. Notice the change. No longer are we humbled and, and bowed down because of the weight of sin and its guilt. Now we rejoice and in thanksgiving for the great gift of forgiveness that God gives to us. And we say, thank you, God, for taking away my sins together. Thank, thank you, you, God, God for, for taking, taking away, away my sins. sins. As forgiven children of God, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for us. Now we know that we have forgiveness for all our sins. Now we know that we are your people. Now we know that we will live with you in heaven someday. And we say amen together. Amen. amen. One more time, our memory treasure is from Matthew chapter 28, verse 6, and please say it along with me. He is, he is not, not here. here. He, he has, has risen. risen. It's time for our next song. I invite you to sing along with us, and please take up your instrument and play along as well. He's risen, he's risen, Christ Jesus the Lord. He opened us free. It's now that time in our service when we get to hear God's word. And to talk about our verse for this Easter service, I've got a few things I would like to show you. I've got a box here. I've got a cup. And I've got a glasses case. And if you think about those three things, when you look inside a box, normally you expect to find something, but you'll see the box is empty. If, if you look at that cup, you go to find a cup and you want to drink something and your cup is empty, that's not good. And if you're looking for your glasses and you look inside your glasses case and it's empty, that's not good either. There's one more thing we want to talk about as we celebrate Easter and our Savior's resurrection, a tomb. Normally, if you would have the opportunity to look inside a tomb, you would expect to see a person's body in there because they had been buried. But the wonderful thing on this Easter morning is, is that while an empty box, an empty cup, and an empty glasses case aren't good, an empty grave is exactly what we look for, and an empty grave is what gives us all of our hope on this Easter morning. Because Jesus' tomb is empty, I'd like you to think about what does that mean for us. Easter is not only celebrating that Jesus rose from the dead, 
It also is celebrating that one day our grave will be empty as we will rise from the dead to live with Jesus forever. Think about that. You have probably been there when someone was buried in a grave or in a tomb. Unless Jesus comes back, one day we will all be buried in a grave or a tomb. But the good news that Easter gives us is that one day we will have that wonderful news that our tomb will be empty because we will rise to live with Jesus forever in heaven. That's what our Easter verse is all about. The Easter angels told the disciples the good news, he is not here, he has risen. One day, you're going to have that wonderful knowledge that you're no longer in a tomb, that you've risen from the dead. And not only that, that means that you're going to look forward to being with Jesus forever in heaven one day. That's really what Easter is all about. Yes, we celebrate today, Jesus is risen. But you can also put your name in there and say, one day I too will rise from the dead. Having heard that wonderful Easter message and the assurance that it gives us, we respond to God's word. We're going to say the responsive Apostles' Creed. Let us respond to God's word by telling everyone what we believe about God, who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We tell everyone that we believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, with these words, I believe in God the Father. Please say that together with me. I, I believe in God, God the, the Father. Father. And we'll sing it as we sing, Father, I adore you. We also believe in God's Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Now on this Easter we celebrate that on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. We tell everyone we believe this with these words, I believe in Jesus Christ. Please say that together with me. I, I believe, believe in, in Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. And we'll sing it as we sing, Jesus, I adore you. Jesus, I adore you. May my life be for you. How I love you. And finally, we believe in God, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. We tell everyone we believe this with these words, I believe in the Holy Spirit. We say that together. I, I believe, believe in, in the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. And we'll sing it. Spirit, I adore. At this point in our worship at the cross service is normally the time when we would give you the opportunity to give an offering to say thank you to God for the gifts and blessings that you have given to him. If you would like to support the ongoing work of Jesus Cares Ministries, you see there on the screen the place where you can go and give a gift. All of our gifts are our way to say thank you to God. Let's pray. And you know that normally at this point in the service is when we would give you the opportunity to have any special prayer requests that you might have. Perhaps you have the opportunity to share any prayer requests that you have with any who might be watching this service with you. Let's all go together uh, to our Lord in prayer and thank him for the wonderful assurance that Easter gives us. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the joy of this Easter day 
for the wonderful news that you are no longer in the tomb, that you are risen, for the wonderful assurance that gives us that one day we too will conquer death, that we will rise from the dead to live forever with you in heaven. As we go through this life and have to encounter and face death, let the assurance of your resurrection and the promise of the hope and peace that you give us through your resurrection comfort us today and always. We ask this in your name, O Jesus, and we join together in praying the prayer that you have taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord smile on you and show you his love. The Lord leads you to live in peace as his forgiven child. We all say amen together. Amen. amen. Let's say that Bible verse one last time, which gives us the wonderful reassurance that our Savior's grave is empty, and one day we too will rise from the dead. We say it together. He, he is, is not here. here. He, he has risen. risen. And we end the service just like we started it. We're going to extinguish the candle. And then also the thing that many of you like to do, we're going to ring the bell to end the service. Please join us as we sing one last song to celebrate the joy of our Savior's resurrection. Thank you again for joining us for this special Jesus Cares Easter service. We pray that having heard again and been reminded of the wonderful news that because our Savior lives, we too will live one day, gives you hope and peace. Have a truly blessed Easter. <laughs>